My father has been in and out of jail and prison my entire life. My father's incarceration has certainly affected me on a personal level, emotionally, mentally. Many young people who have incarcerated parents definitely feel stigmatized and marginalized. Are you looking at me? Oh, what are you looking at? <laughs> Probably. Oh, some cookies. I was 13 years old when my mother passed away. I was raised by my maternal grandmother, and my grandmother is a big advocate of education. She knew that college was coming down the pike for me, but you know, there was no college fund. My grandmother began researching various scholarships online that I would be eligible for. She said, I don't see any for young people like yourself who have incarcerated parents. And I kept that in my mind. When I was a junior, I went through a social entrepreneurship program for teenagers, and we had to come up with a social venture. So I pitched Scholar Chips, and the CHIPS, of course, is an imperfect acronym for children of incarcerated parents. And the judges, they loved the idea. And so here I was, 16 years old, with a $1,000 seed grant. I wasn't even old enough to have a bank account. Scholar CHIPS is a nonprofit organization that provides college scholarships, mentoring, mental health supports, and a robust support network to college-bound young adults who have incarcerated parents. The main objective is to help directly address the financial gap and challenges that many of our scholars face. Our scholars are provided with brand new laptops. We also have an emergency fund, and so when scholars have unexpected challenges that come up, we definitely step in to help. Hi. Hello there, how are we doing? Our scholars have the option to opt in to being matched with a mentor who wants to be a cheerleader and a champion. I mean, let's remember this journey, right? Just lean into it and let it just wash over you. This is really good stuff. They have someone who has already been through college and the process that they're currently going through. Tiana, hi! <laughs> I do personally check in with our scholars. Get ready for graduation. Yeah, I know, congratulations, I'm so excited! The check-ins are very helpful because oftentimes we will discover a need that a scholar has that we otherwise didn't know. We'll put one of these in here. We send care packages, just letting our scholars know that we're thinking about you, you matter, we love you. I think that's everything. You're worthy of being where you are, you belong where you are. Scholarships offers community building for our scholars. We all are connected because of the lived and shared experience of having an incarcerated parent. So we all sort of bond off of that. It's definitely a lifeline. This is amazing. We host an annual award ceremony. We welcome and celebrate our new scholars who will be college freshmen. And we also celebrate and honor our scholars who just graduated. We celebrate them for having completed their college education. My dad has been incarcerated since 2002. So basically since I was born. My dad is an intellectual at heart. He's super involved with me. He likes to talk about the things that I'm learning. With scholarships help, I've been able to attend Temple University. The scholarship was definitely a game changer for me. It changed my entire outlook on college. I have people looking out for me and rooting for me. It's definitely much more than just like the scholarship that I'm getting, but also the network that I'm getting and the support. So it's more like, what are you doing to make sure that your life is continuing to propel forward? I'm studying criminal justice and I will be graduating this spring. I'm starting law school in the fall. You have done an incredible job. You know, the last couple of years you've been grinding. You really have. My mentor is a lawyer. She has been my career support, my emotional support, my life support. She is great and I value her advice so much, especially when I was picking a law school, applying to law schools. She really helped me 
figure out what my priorities were. You have done it. You have done it. So I'm really so proud of you, man. I really am. She has been really helpful in helping me flesh things out and being supportive every inch of the way. I am currently interning with the Defender Association of Philadelphia, and I work with the probation unit. I visit the courthouse weekly as a part of my internship. You are graduating in just a few weeks. <laughs> Miss Yasmeen, she lights up a room when she walks in. She's helped me find my internship this summer, and she's always just super excited for me. Like, I, I know that I've got my number one hype woman in Miss Yasmeen. I'm excited for you, Mick. I'm so excited for you. My dad is very proud of where I'm going. He's very excited, almost too excited to the point where I'm blushing every time we're on the phone because he won't stop bragging to me about me. 81 scholars have come through the scholarships program thus far. Each scholar will receive a total of about $10,000 in scholarship dollars from us. Most of our scholars, when they apply to scholarships, they say, this is the first time I've ever told anyone that they have an incarcerated parent. So scholarships becomes a safe space where young people feel comfortable even divulging and sharing that information. I accept my dad for who he is. Our relationship is complicated. My dad was able to attend my college graduation. It was a beautiful day and I was very grateful that I was able to experience that with my dad. You're growing, you're glowing, I'm loving it. Scholarships is my way of paying it forward and making sure that other young people who have the experience like me of having an incarcerated parent, that they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. When you have a community of support around you, and there are other people rooting for you who understand what you're going through and where you've come from, it just really changes your whole life.